Really, T-Mobile? Really? This is your new plan? You know what? It's about time we expose some uselessness. Yeah. Useless. So T-Mobile just announced its brand new plan, T-Mobile One. Yes, this plan is to free you from data caps and all that craziness. This T-Mobile CEO came out, he was tossing out buckets saying data caps mean nothing. And yes, I definitely agree with him with that. So what T-Mobile One is, it's a plan where it's $70, you get unlimited text data, and yes, unlimited data, no caps. Now the caveat to this, of course, is that if you use over 26 gigabytes of data every month, you will get some uh, you get a data cap at that point. At least you get some slowdowns and stuff like that, which is understandable. So I, I hear that. But here's the real catch with T-Mobile One. It sounds great. For 70 bucks a month, you get unlimited data. There are really no caps, at least if you're using less than 26 gigabytes a month. So that sounds really, really good. But here's the problem. Here's the real problem here. So if you're like me, or if you're like a lot of people at least, who like to tether, yes, you have tethering with this plan, but you only have 2G tethering. Yes, who the frack uses 2G? Really, 2G tethering, which means if you wanna connect your smartphone to tether, say, to your laptop, you'll be getting 2G speeds with this. Yes, 2G speeds. Now, T-Mobile has a remedy for this. If you wanna get 4G LTE speeds, you can add five gigabytes of 4G LTE data for just $15, yes. So more money on top of that, $70. But wait, here's another thing. Now, remember how T-Mobile, of course, had that new service, just like they did you know, a couple years ago where you know, um, your, streaming music, your streaming video uh, is free. It doesn't actually account to your data cap at all, your data usage. So you know, things like YouTube, Netflix, you know, but it's all capped at 480p. Now, if you want to actually go ahead and move away from that and say stream at 720, 1080, or even 4K, you can also add an extra $25 that will free that up for you. So basically, if you want to actually get tethering, yes, tethering at 4G LTE speeds or watch your content in anything higher than 480p, it will cost you combined an extra 40 bucks, which means your plan becomes 110. Yes, $110, yeah. So even though data is unlimited, but literally, what, for using apps and also maybe browsing the web, Seriously, that doesn't cover much, okay, T-Mobile? Doesn't cover diddly squat. So you're telling me if I want to actually tether, I have to pay an extra $15 because you're locking me down onto 2G's, fracking 2G speeds. And of course, if I want to watch my content better. So while T-Mobile basically, um, you know, gave us candy and lured us all the way into saying, yay, I can stream Netflix for free. And of course I can stream YouTube for free. There's a catch. The catch is finally here and we have fallen into that bait. So the only way to get around this right now is that look, if you if you were thinking of jumping to T-Mobile and wanting to switch, if you're a T-Mobile customer like me, I've been a customer since 2003 with T-Mobile. My current plan allows me to tether um, at 4G LTE speeds. I do have a cap of six gigabytes of data, but I pay $50 a month. Now it's an older plan. That plan right now costs $65. So if you're on T-Mobile, stick with your older plan. It is more beneficial for you. Stay with the data caps instead of going to this false unlimited because if you're streaming any kind of video and you want to get anything at around 480p, you're gonna be paying money for it. If you want to tether, you're gonna be paying money for it also. So it makes no sense. It's absolutely useless. It's a useless plan because literally it takes away everything you actually do, whether it's tethering, whether it's uh, playing video, and also gaming is optimized too, So which means that you are capped. Now let's not forget Sprint also just announced its own plan, which starts up tomorrow Tomorrow, which is only 60 bucks, yes, gives you unlimited, but also you are capped at 40 in terms of, um, of, of video, 40p, as well as also gaming is capped at two, it's all up to two megabytes. So um, everything is, it's crazy, you know, when you think these companies will learn that, you know what, yes, we know data is cheap. This thing doesn't cost you that much. And this is how you're treating your customers. This is just me talking from a customer perspective, not as a, as a tech review or anything. I'm a customer, I pay for my service, okay? I've been with a company like T-Mobile since 2003, and this is 2016, and this is what they tell me is unlimited data, this is T-Mobile One, this frees up the customer. This is, this is bullshit, this is crap. 
This is absolute crap. Okay, that's my little rant for exposing uselessness this week. T-Mobile, yes, and you Sprint, I'm looking at you too. Your plan's not that great. I just put it on screen for you guys so you guys can see what Sprint's offering and also what T-Mobile's offering. Remember, T-Mobile, again, yes, they're giving you tethering at 2G, fracking 2G speeds, and of course, yeah, 480p video. Seriously, guys. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Subscribe, and yeah, just don't get those plans. Thank you.